Since the escalation of the crisis in the northwest and southwest regions, many persons have been displaced from their homes. Amongst these persons, women and girls form the largest percentage. The coming of the crisis gave birth to many non-governmental organizations and civil society organizations, while the existing ones build their interest towards the crisis with the motive of providing humanitarian aid to victims of the crisis. In line with the 30th edition of the International Women's Rights Day celebrations, Camrays Academy, in partnership with Alliance Francaise Bamenda on Sunday, March 5, 2023, in a discussion forum, reviewed the works of non governmental organizations and civil society organizations in connection to humanitarian aid given to IDP women in the Northwest region. At this moment, we have um more than 10,000 women living in Bamenda who have been internally displaced. And uh, the manner of distribution, the manner of shortlisting beneficiaries should be mainstreamed because most of the vulnerable or the very needy women are not mainstreamed sometimes in this distribution process. First, let me laud the initiative of the organizers of this discussion forum because it is very timely. It comes at a time when women are feeling oppressed, suppressed, and in fact depressed as a result of what is ongoing in terms of humanitarian assistance within this crisis period. In the course of the discussion, participants were franked enough to appreciate the works carried out by these non-governmental organizations in the restive Northwest region. Uh, the women in NGOs are doing a lot to support IDP or vulnerable women here in the Northwest region. But then I want to encourage us, let's not just sit behind and wait for all, to, for all the work to be done by them. Let's play a part. My watchword of this year is building peace through resilience. Women, we need to build our resilience in us. They also recommended that the manner of giving out this humanitarian aid should be reviewed so as to meet the needs of women. The crisis is six years and it's still ongoing. And we have gone past the, the era of just giving them fish. Let's also teach these women how to fish. They have left their farms. They were used to farming, making ends meet a true farming, feeding their families, assisting their husbands. But now they are coming um, out of it. Maybe they have run away from, for safety and they are in Bamenda, say. And now they have no farms. So now we should encourage them to get on board income-generating activities. Adding his voice, Chavez Law decried the action of some non-governmental organizations who, according to him, are using the crisis as an industry to make profit rather than providing the necessary aid to victims of the crisis. Who are not carefully described NGO providers, NGO promoters, are more because of life. Check and balance their lifestyle. 10 years before they started an NGO on the crisis came, I see the difference. They are adding to new cars, into new buildings, into new infrastructure, new way they are doing this, I think women, for whom they are from and men, are from further into this misery. Most non-governmental organizations are making gain from the crisis. We understand that even when assistance is coming, it is not adequate and, in fact, not uh, meeting the exact needs of the exact community. One of the participants, who is an IDP from Bui Division, expressed her frustration towards some of these NGOs. I am an IDP and I've never witnessed any form of humanitarian support. The number of times I register myself, my name don't actually come. The last time they came to my vicinity to collect uh, people's names, I gave my name, but nobody came back to, to give us any um, report whether the things were to come or not. So we just remained silent and we were expecting to maybe receive something, but nothing actually came. Given that most NGOs and CSOs in the Northwest region are headed by women, participants used the forum to challenge these women to actually use their organizations and create positive impact on the ground. Camrays Academy and Alliance Frances Bamenda have thus taken the lead to regularly organize discussion forums on different topics which will go a long way to build a stronger society.